Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to clip user controls in WPF using XAML code. Um, I'm going to use an image control here just as an, as an example, but you can do this with almost any WPF application, sorry, any WPF control. And it should be done the same way. So first of all, one thing we want to make sure is we don't end our control. So if there's a backslash there, delete it. Go to the next. Go to the part after the pointer bracket. Then end your control there. That's because we want to type something in the image control. We want to type in a property called image dot clip. Oops. Now you don't always type in image dot clip. It's just um, I'm using an image, therefore I will use the image dot clip. If you look here, there are other um, controls that you can set the clip property for, and not a text block apparently. Maybe a text box. And anyway, we'll look into that later. Okay, inside the image clip property, what you want to set is what you want to see. For example, if I wanted to see a circular portion of this image, I'll just add a ellipse property or a ellipse geometry. Stop in the ellipse geometry, set its radi radius. Um, we will make it 50 and the radius y to 50 as well. Oops. We will also set its center to 90 and 75. And we'll end the ellipse control. So, as you can see, what you want to see is a area which a ellipse with a radius of 50 and with a radius of 50 and it will be in the center position of the image control or well it's 90 which is half of 180 and 75 which is half of 150 and that's why it's in the center you could obviously move this around um make it bigger just like any other element in WPF 